Is it magic or a miracle? God is bigger than our troubles. He can do anything. And the best news is, we are his children. Today, we'll learn about something amazing Jesus did. Was it magic or was it a miracle? First, let's do a magic trick to help us understand the difference between magic and miracles. First, you'll need some string, scissors, glue, your fish and net pictures, and some crayons. Now this part's optional, but the first thing you're going to want to do is color your fish. I'm going to color mine all kinds of colors. All right, I just skipped ahead and finished with all that. Once you're done, take each fish and net circle. They're going to go back to back, and you're going to want to line up the holes. So see, there's one of the holes, and the other, and you can see straight through them. And then we're going to take our glue, and we're going to glue those two pieces together. Remember, the white parts touch each other, and the picture should be on the outside. Line up the holes. Once you've done that, you're going to take your string and you're going to cut it into two pieces. Now I sent home with everyone long string, so you can make it even smaller if you want to. But I just cut this one in half. And then we're going to tie one string through each of the holes. There's the first one, and now let's do the second string on the other side. Just stick it right through the hole. I've already punched the holes for you. Tie that tightly, and now comes the fun part, because you can see I've got fish on one side and a net on the other. So grab kind of close, and then start twisting. I think I twisted mine like 75 times. But the more you twist it, the faster and the longer it goes. So you can see fish on one side, net on the other. But when we decide to let go, let's see what happens. It looks like the fish are in the net. It was just an optical illusion just a trick, our mind thinking we see something that's not really there. So today we're going to learn about something Jesus did in Luke chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. We read that Jesus stood beside Lake Galilee and a crowd of people pushed to get closer to him and to hear the teachings of God. Jesus saw two boats at the shore of the lake. The fishermen were washing their nets. So Jesus got into the boat that belonged to Simon. He asked Simon to push off just a little bit from shore, and then he sat down in the boat where he taught the people that were on the shore. Now when Jesus finished speaking, he said to Simon, take the boat into the deep water. If all of you will put your nets into the water, you will catch some fish. Simon answered, but master, we worked hard all night trying to catch fish, and we caught nothing. But you say I should put the nets into the water, so I will. The fishermen put their nets in the water. Their nets were filled with so many fish that they began to break. They called to their friends in the other boats to come help them. The friends came and both boats were filled so full of fish that they were almost sinking. The fishermen were all amazed at the many fish they caught. Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, your work will be to bring in people, not fish. The men brought their boats to the shore. They left everything and followed Jesus. So was this magic or was it a miracle? A miracle, of course. You see, magic is an illusion. It tricks our mind into seeing something that's not really there. But a miracle? That's not a trick at all. It goes against science. It couldn't be done without God. And that's the God I serve. So if you're ever feeling afraid or sad 
or a little troubled, don't worry, because remember, your God is bigger than all of that. Your God can do miracles.